The home fitness market has always been there. Those of us who remember Jack LaLanne well remember his exercise TV programs from the 50s through the mid-80s. Jack lived to a very healthy 96. When asked how he managed to live so long, he famously replied, I can't die, it would ruin my reputation. Then came the mass adoption of videotapes and DVDs. These enabled people to watch and re-watch instructional videos on aerobics, Taibo, and dozens of other regimens. And today, streaming services bring you on-demand exercise videos for free, and every home with an internet connection can house a Peloton or Magic Exercise Mirror personalized just for it, although these often come with steep subscription fees attached. In 2016, I was fortunate enough to pick up an HTC Vive at release, and it's running well to this day. The lighthouses continue to work, and the controllers, although they've grown a little eccentric in their age, still carry out their duties effectively. Now, as telecommuting becomes more common and VR looks for ways to become an essential enabling technology, a question naturally arises. Can VR save you an occasional trip to the gym and take its place alongside these other home exercise solutions? Based on the momentum gained in the last few years, I'd say there's little doubt. While VR can't yet provide the experience of weight training, stair climbing, or similar physics-based interactions, it does provide the opportunity to supplement an aerobic exercise regimen. And part of mine, for years, has been Box VR. Box VR is simple to understand. As with similar music rhythm titles like Beat Saber and Synth Riders, you use your arms and legs to swat and dodge in time to music. The color and direction of the sphere approaching you determines which hand, and in which direction, respectively, you should punch it. By contrast, when a barrier flies towards you, avoid it. Speaking of music, the game does come with a sizable collection of songs and a variety of styles. Some you'll undoubtedly like better than others, but all are appropriate to this style of exercise. As a side note, I'm not sure how much musicians are paid to license their songs. Of course, any exposure is of immense value to aspiring talented artists, even if it happens passively and without notice. And I guess it works. Box VR's soundtrack has already led to my purchase of one album. So how do you play? You start by picking a workout routine and a venue, then you get to work. Each workout routine begins by instructing you to turn your body left or right side forward. The side will alternate over the course of workout, allowing you an opportunity to extend your back and arms in slightly different ways. Then get ready to punch, duck, dodge, and sweat your way through your workout. The better you hit the spheres and avoid the barriers, the higher your score. A quick side note, don't punch to the point your arm is fully or hyperextended. It can really end up hurting the next day. Always pull your punches slightly. Now, as you extend your combo, a bonus meter increases the score multiplier. Missing a punch or forgetting to dodge will drop you down one multiplier level. I find the play to be fast, fun, and very easy to get into. Finally, at the end of the level, you'll get a score and a breakdown of how you did. That's really the core gameplay. It gets you moving and it gets you sweaty. They've successfully gamified some nice cardio exercise. Box VR comes out of the, well, box, with several tiers of professionally designed workouts ranging from beginner routines of short duration, perfect to ease you in a few minutes at a time, to longer, more challenging ones lasting up to an hour. If I had one complaint, which I do, it's that the ability to create custom workouts is a little bit... lacking. While you can build new routines based on the included songs, as well as your own music library, the resultant beatmaps are only randomly generated. The algorithm certainly picks up the beats well enough to create a synchronized beatmap, and the difficulty generated is just about right, but unfortunately, there is neither a beatmap editor, nor a stage editor. 
Auto map generators are not to the point quite yet where they can understand song phrasing and progression well enough to create truly plausible beat maps that could pass for those handcrafted by a skilled human. Now, I get that their business model is to sell trainer-created, curated content, and that's completely valid. But community extensibility is table stakes these days. I'm pretty sure opening up the platform would significantly increase the title's appeal to more people. At its core, if you'll pardon the pun, Box VR is a very solid title. It's light on features, sure, but the ones that are there work, and they do work well. If you enjoy cardio exercise, you'll get your money's worth, and always have a sweaty workout conveniently around. Box VR is developed and published by FitXR. You can pick it up today on the Steam Store for $29.99, as well as the Oculus Store if you're on PC, or the PlayStation Store if you're on PSVR. While this is not necessarily a VR system seller, it's an easy sell to a current VR owner who likes rhythm music games or fitness apps. There are a few pieces of DLC available as of this recording. They are the Essentials and Extreme Packs. These add extra music and routines and sell for $9.99. I haven't picked them up yet, so I cannot speak to their quality, but based on the quality of the other songs and the other beat maps, I don't think there should be any cause for concern. So that's our review of Box VR. If you played it, what was your experience? Please leave a comment below and let us know. Also, feel free to add any questions or suggestions. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated and it really helps a lot. Thanks for watching.